Yes, today's show is about learning about pets, taking care of pets, and we have our veterinarian, Dr. Wendy Asato. So today we're going to be taking care of Roxy. Roxy is a little girl and learning what, like, how big she is or how much weight she is. And we're also going to be and asking... And how much healthy. Yeah, and we're also going to be asking Dr. Wendy questions. So the first question for you is, um, how did you start being a doctor? How did I start being a vet? I always loved animals. And I had a dog that I couldn't provide proper care for because I didn't know enough. And that made me feel like I wanted to be a vet so that I could learn to take good care of, of my dog. And that's how mm -hmm. I got started. So when you're a little kid, then you then you love pets. Yes, I, I, I that was my plaything. I, I pretended to be a veterinarian. <laughs> the second question we have for you: How much? I think it was how much school did you go to to get to to be a vet? So the normal route is to do a uh, so you finish high school, you do four years of undergraduate college, and then you. You sign up for vet school or you apply for vet school, which is very difficult to get into. So you need to study very hard if you want to become a veterinarian. And then uh, it's it's a four-year course, just like human med school. And then if you choose to want to do anything else, like an internship or a residency to be a specialty veterinarian, then that's one year internship, three years of residency. Are you a special veterinarian? I don't, not in the Western medical sense, but I have done a lot of um, holistic training, so Chinese veterinary medicine, like herbs, acupuncture, diet, and then I do essential oils, and also now I'm doing ozone therapy. Oh, mm -hmm. I think the third question was, well, I'm not going in order, but I maybe think the third question was, um, uh, okay. It's okay. You can do, like, any question. Yeah, yeah any question. you have in your past? In my past, I've always had just one dog at a time. So I had that one dog when I was a kid that I, I couldn't take care of. First, actually got hit by a car. And then, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ours. Yeah, yeah we had one too. And then, um, yeah. then I had one after that. So she was with me until I went to vet school. And she, she was old. She was about 17 when she passed away from, from heart failure. Yeah. Um, she was older than Roxy. Yeah, and she was. Um, so she was through my vet school years, and after that, I only had like rabbits and rats and, and, and mice and birds. <laughs> oh, and then I finally mom. got one dog, and so now we have five. Oh, <laughs> oh my mom had egret. Yeah. But egret. No, like, we had parrots. Oh, yeah. yeah, but it was too loud, so she had to give it away. Yeah. It was too loud in the night. Yes, we had eclectus parrots. We were breeding them. It was very loud. Yes. Beautiful birds, but super loud. Uh, you can just watch them fly around the neighborhood. Yeah, we have them around the neighborhood. Yeah. Just like at Kahala Hotel, like Daddy, me and Daddy and Chloe saw a, a green egret. Oh yeah, we did. We oh, did. you did? Yeah, we did. Oh. Okay. The okay. fourth one is, oh wait, I know. How um, long does it take for a dog to be like your baby? It's pretty much 63 days is from Ooh. the time they breed to the time those, those puppies come out. It's very short. 63 days? I forgot how short that is. Is it painful for the dog? Well, it depends, right? I think the first childbirth is probably a little bit. It starts when sore. zero and yeah. then bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. And what? can fit in your hand. And what kind of uh, animals do you folks take care of? At Mackay. At Mackay, so we primarily do dogs and cats, um, but Dr. Cunningham does more of the exotics. I also do rabbits and um, like rats and mice. She does the same, but she also adds a little bit of birds to her practice. So she's even had um, pet pigs come through. Pet pigs. Oh, it's like um, another Piggy. dog that we saw on television. Yeah. Wow. And they're a game called Piggy. Is it hard <laughs> for you guys to like? Um, like do all of the stuff. Fix them and like do the shots. Do the shots. Well, no, that's that's okay. good health care, right? That's preventative care to, to prevent them from getting really bad disease. Um, uh, so that's not the hard part. Every animal is different, so I, I treat every animal differently. Um, and I try and formulate a plan for them individually. But there's a certain thing that you do for every, every dog and cat that comes 
comes through. The kitten shots, the puppy shots. <laughs> Making sure they're, you know, on a good diet and uh, heartworm prevention for the dogs monthly. Even cats, it's recommended to put them on heartworm prevention monthly since it's passed by mosquitoes. And we all know Hawaii has mosquitoes year round. So. Yeah. Okay, so the fifth question is. Do you wash puppies? Do we wash puppies? Not really. I mean, sometimes they get a little dirty. You know, they kind of, they pee and poop everywhere. So you have to wash them off. But in general, we want to not really wash them too much because they get cold really quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yep. So what's some, um, uh, let's see, if, if you have a new, if you're a new pet owner and you have a new dog or, or puppy and a cat or a kitten, any tips, I guess, some, um, you know, tips for new puppy and kitten parents? Dog? Sure, yeah. So, I mean, puppies and kittens definitely a very special, you know, you really want to encourage doing everything right. So, because they're sort of young and things are being imprinted. So you want to start them definitely with their puppy series or kitten series vaccines, going to see a veterinarian so you get proper <laughs> advice on diet and, you know, whether you should take them out before they finish their vaccines. Uh, flea and tick prevention um, for both species uh, and good diets. You also you also want to start training even kittens, uh, dogs and puppies and kittens. You want to train them to do certain behaviors that you, that will influence the way they behave for the rest of their lives. Yeah. So you want to make sure you're brushing their teeth every day, that you're playing with their ears, that you're playing with their feet, so you can cut them very easily. Oh, nails easily. <laughs> that's right. So if you start early, then they they'll actually let you do that as they get older. And cats are the same way. You know, you play with their feet. So you, uh -huh. you get sometimes when they're indoors, you can put their yeah. Have a cat. Oh yeah, so cleaning. You answered one of our questions. My mom yeah. was going to ask how much do you have to brush your teeth? Every oh, single how often day. should you be brushing your animal's teeth? Ideally every single day, just like us. Just so like humans. Ha ha ha. Also applies to exercise. Exercise should be daily. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Only one time, 45 minutes. Yeah, I got her 45 minutes on the treadmill. Wow. Without That's any, great. when it, without yeah. any um, yeah, um she, leash. When she decides on 15 or 10. Yeah, and then she jumps off. Yeah. <laughs> when she's not supposed to, when she only gets like 11 minutes. As long as she, she gets her exercise every day, that's Sometimes a good thing. Sometimes she did 20 minutes. Wow. Okay, so now we're ready to do a physical checkup with Roxy. That's me. Okay. And Miss Chloe's going to be my assistant. So you're going to hold, yeah, hold, hold her back. So we start usually from nose to tail on a dog. You know, want to make sure the ears are clean. And sometimes you'll see the doctor put a little scope in there and look down in the canals. So and sure your pig. Oh, it's pretty clean. Yeah. Good thing we look gave her a bath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fancy scope to look in the eyes too, but we check and see, you know, she's able to see pretty well. And friends, our dog Roxy is 15 years old. And I'm eight. And Chloe's eight. Seven years old. So, Dr. Wendy, is it true? Like we're supposed to, I thought you timed it by seven. No? No, that's kind of a, I don't know where that originated from. Okay. But you, usually, dog age? Yeah, usually the, like the smaller breed to medium dogs are probably about teenage when they're, up, when they reach six months of, of age, because they can, it's like puberty. They can actually mm -hmm. start to breed at that age. Oh, okay. Uh, larger dogs, maybe they'll reach that at about a year. Okay. So after that, it may be about three to five years of growth, uh, of aging in particular years. Oh. It's really not the seven that we used to be. Oh, okay. And it could be, you know, it could be more for large breed dogs. For little dogs, they live longer than the large ones do. Okay. Yeah, so. Oh, Roxy's little. She's little. Yeah. She's, She's little, little so. so. you take good care of her and you keep her teeth clean. So that's the other thing we look uh, at. Yeah. Actually, I don't want her teeth to die fast. Yeah, and then you have to brush their teeth every day because if they don't, they can get disease oh. and their teeth can get it's rotten and fall out. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to hold it longer? Oh, yes. Yeah. So uh -huh. her teeth are okay. A little bit of gingivitis and tartar. Right. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to schedule the dental cleaning. <laughs> Which they are recommending yearly now. Yearly? Yeah. Oh, yearly. Oh. Just like us, you know, you should go see yeah. your dentist at least every six months. Okay. And then we feel the lymph nodes. 
I'm going to start looking those at least zero. And then I feel her belly. And I make sure her neck and her back aren't sore. And look at their paws. Make sure there's no lumps or bumps growing in them. All right. Yeah, and then you feel her belly. You want to just kind of calm her down there. Look under her butt because sometimes it can be anal mm. sac problems or a lump there. Oh yes, we yeah. do squeeze her butt when we yeah. give her a bath. Mm -hmm. No, Judy came out yesterday for all three of them. You did that, Chloe? Wow! Wow! I did too. Good job. Yes, I did. Then we just hold her like that. I'm gonna listen to her heart, okay? And where where is her heart? We're gonna her find heart. out. Where is it here? Chest, How do you spell heart, you folks? H H a-R-T? Yeah. That's right. H-E-A-R-T. Heart. Heart. So usually the rule of thumb is you can just move the elbow like that, and that's right where the heart is. Oh. And I listen in five places. She has five hearts? No, she only has one, but there's different spots in the valve and the heart, but it can have a murmur. Oh. And... How fast does the heart beat? Because we saw that right at Discovery Hawaii Children's Discovery Center. Yeah. I think it was beating really fast. Like bum, 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 mm -hmm. bum, bum, mm -hmm. bum, So like right bum. now her heart rate's probably about 130 beats per minute. Which is when beats they're excited minute. it can go up to 200. Wow. Usually in a cat, usually on an exam table, it's about 200. And what is humans? Bum, when bum, we bum, run, bum, when bum, I run, bum, I feel bum, my heart right. and it goes boom. Wow. Probably after you run. Yeah. It goes boom. Bum, bum, bum. But same like humans, so if the dog is larger or the uh, athletic, then the heartbeat's going to be slower. Mm. Uh huh. Okay. My heartbeat is being like. Yeah. That's yeah. good, nice and stable. So what we also want to make sure when we look at them is what we call body condition score. That's how fat or skinny they are, how much muscle they have. Oh, yeah. yes. She, no, she's actually just right. So what you're looking for is a thin layer of fat over the ribs and over the backbone. And Smiley's and, good, too. Smiley's good, yeah. When you look at her from the top, yeah. <laughs> and you should have an hourglass, like a nice hourglass. Oh, an hourglass. Hour That's what you're aiming for. Oh. Yeah. Well, two of our dogs have that, Dr. <laughs> Wendy. Yeah. Runchy, we, you know, we could I use a little weight. It. We're yeah. working on it, right, friends? Because did we show them our, no. our um, the oh, we didn't, the treadmill? Oh, yeah, oh we got to show them. The oh, okay. Yeah. About okay. the rolling side later. Maybe. Okay, so the hourglass, okay. Mm -hmm. Hourglass? How can we call it an hourglass? It's an old term. It's an old-fashioned term. We call it an hourglass figure. I don't know if you heard of Marilyn Monroe, but she had the perfect hourglass figures. That's what you're looking for. <laughs> way before, yeah, way before your, your time. time. <laughs> I was born in 2015. Yeah. I was born in 2015. <laughs> So it's important that they stay nice and slim because if they get too fat, you know, it hurts their joints, it hurts their back, they can get diabetes, well, all kinds of problems. Means, I really know what joints mean. Mm -hmm. What's diabetes? Diabetes is where your, um, your sugar is not regulated in your body. You I didn't chew one at and it said diabetes. Mm -hmm. Diabetes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it means. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like your elbow. When it hurts, then you can't like yeah, do that. Your knees. Your you can't move That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Anything else for our physical checkup for Roxy? It looks Roxy. pretty good. Yeah. Yay! Roxy's got <laughs> flying colors. Woohoo! Did she see it? She probably has a little bit reduced vision. She's got, um, she's got changes to her lenses. Oh, and hearing too. Yeah. Because sometimes we call her and she's mm -hmm. she doesn't hear us. She's an old so, lady. Like, she's we're old over lady. there yeah. and then she's like right by the yeah. bed. Yeah. And then we call Foxy and she just walks away. So for her diet, should we be giving her anything special? I mean, we're doing the home cooked meals. Um, can we give dogs like salad? I mean, you can or give some, them some fresh vegetables. Fresh vegetables like spinach. Uh, so the cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, spinach, kale, Owls. those should be cooked. Cooked. Oh, okay. Yeah, they can cause the thyroid to be low. And we can give them apples. Okay. You can give them a little bit. It's sweet. So you want to probably stick with cucumbers, celery, cucumbers. maybe small bits of carrots and apples. Oh, okay. Blueberries. Yeah. 
Oh, blueberries. Wow. Okay. I never saw blueberries. Oh, I know. We should ask Dr. Wendy what foods not to give dogs Do you know? or cats, no. right? There are certain I ones. We... Chloe, <laughs> what is that? And definitely not chocolate. Not there chocolate. you go. Oh, That's Reggie the ate one. Candy. Oh, dear. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> Time. Yeah, and I've called Dr. Wendy many of those times, so. <laughs> so the worst chocolate is the baker's chocolate and the dark chocolate. Because it's uh -huh. the caffeine. And that the is the dark chocolate. <laughs> I think in sea candy there's not much. It's a filler, right? <laughs> yeah, but, sugar. Right. And we're cheese and Oh, so plants you gotta be careful. Certain ones are poisonous too. She ate yep. the mushroom out of that one. Oh, that's not good either. Oh boy. Yeah, and so, sometimes the, the, little, the little frogs. She'll play with those. And the toad. The toad, oh, yeah. She toad's, brought one in her toad's house. not a good thing either. The yeah. Toads. <laughs> we are getting <laughs> bad check marks <laughs> and here. And attacked a big toad. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. And so I had to just duty. rinse her. No, she, I think she was okay. I just rinsed her mouth out yeah, really good. Seizure, yeah, okay, okay. So other things, uh, you want to avoid onions. Onions. Um, grapes, raisins. No grapes, no raisins, no chocolate. You um, do for yeah. raisins, though. Well, with some some other. Oh, how about you know how people like to give bones, right? Yeah. So cooked bones are really bad. My dad gave meat bones, and then she cooked it out. Yeah, she had like a sore stomach after that. Yeah. Right, They're Daddy? too sharp. Yes. They're too sharp, and the meat, and the fat, and the, the marrow gets rancid. So, uh, being a holistic vet, we usually recommend raw. Um, but you, you have to, of course, gradually get your dog onto a raw diet and raw bones. But they are um, what they should kind of be eating. If you're going to give bones, it would be raw bones. They're softer. Oh. They're um, not rancid. So, like, we can give them treat bones as long as they're raw? Well, what kind of bones are you talking about? Like the milk bones? No, like the, those big, longer bones. Yeah, so like as long the as they're raw. Like the ones that are shaped like round. Like, the ones that are in the package. Oh, no, those no. are too hard. Those are no, the soft ones. The, soft the little ones. ones. The little ones. Yeah, you can get those. Mm -hmm. If they're soft. Because if they're too hard, they're going to crack the teeth and then you're going to have to. That's for Runchy. Roxy, we have out. the little small ones. Runchy, Smiley. Smiley sometimes eat the small ones, but we don't get them anymore. We don't. I don't know where they are. They're in the house somewhere. In the closet. And how about uh, your specialty? With the so, acupuncture and so holistic medicine. Yeah. So primarily I trained in um, traditional Chinese veterinary medicine. So mm -hmm. that's acupuncture, you know, where you stick needles in. You can use that pretty much for anything. So or arthritis, you know, kind of uh, limb trauma or back problems, allergies. Um, you can help to boost the immune system with cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's actually five branches of Chinese medicine. So acupuncture is just one of them. Then there's Chinese herbs. And there's diet, exercise, and a massage system called Tui Na. So pretty much studied um, those those five branches. Wow, that's awesome. So yeah, so exercise, like you said, is important. So in humans, we do like Tai Chi and Qigong, but in dogs, you put them on the yeah, treadmill, you take them walking. Yeah, walking, a treadmill, and running. And as mm -hmm. they get older, you gotta slow down, you know? Sometimes running is good. <laughs> yeah. Right. I've been yeah. taking Roxy like by herself now. So the other dogs walking don't pull her. <laughs> walking is important, actually. It's close to them. Hi, friends. So we're doing the closing with Dr. Wendy from Makai Pet Hospital in Kailua. So you can visit her there. And what we learned today is that we should brush the dog's teeth every day. But we do not walk. And that um, we need to exercise it with them. And yep, and we get to walk the dogs, run the dogs. And we gotta look for this. <laughs> the, the, the hourglass yep. hour figure, okay? Yep. Because and if not, we need to exercise them. And take a walk for them every day. And do you folks think you want to learn how, uh, do you want to become a veterinarian one day? Like Dr. Chloe Wendy? Always to be a doctor, but thank you so much. Yeah, Chloe always wanted to be a doctor. Wow. Yeah, so maybe she'll and switch. <laughs> yeah, switch to veterinarian and you can intern with Dr. Wendy, but you have to study hard, right, you folks? Yes? Yes? Okay.
Okay, so thank you, Dr. Wendy. We awesome. really had a great time with you today. We appreciate all your knowledge and expertise. So come follow us for our next Channel video. On maybe Kayla's birthday? Yes. Maybe Kayla's oh, birthday. Oh, next I know. Week. And our videos are on sun Saturdays and Sundays. Just Bye. Saturdays. No, today's Sunday. We record on Sundays and we post it on Saturdays. Yes. Okay, thank you. thank you. Mahalo and aloha for watching this video. Bye. Please follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Island Life Kids. Mahalo, and we hope you enjoy watching our videos. Bye!